Joel King kicking off presently with Nader Abbas. And out. It's good, strong Five. hitting again Two. across the middle of the court there. Former PSA World Tour player Mohammed Abbas coaches Salma Hani. Salma Hani unfortunately exiting yesterday. Yeah, it's good squash. And now Simple, made seven, to look quite easy there three. from King. Good length on the cross court, opens up with the boast. Game to King, King leads, one game to love. Well, very steady for Joel King, quite comprehensive. Yeah, it's good squash. It's better play. Slightly better length there, though, from Abbas. I think out. that's an area Three she can five. look to improve upon a, a bit more. Good tight squeeze from King. Nine three. Accurate hitting down the backhand again from the Kiwi. Seven game balls to go to a very, very comfortable two love lead here for King. Yes, yeah, good change of angle there. Switching the play from left to right. And again, the opening three, the opportunity. King. King leads, two games to love. Yeah, it's tidy again. 6-1. I think Joel King will be pretty pleased with the performance and the opportunity to get out and spend some time on the court just to get used to its playability. Yes, yeah, nice change of angle there from Abbas. Looked like she was under pressure. Trips, Five, slips. Nada Abbas comes back into this. Oh. 11 7, match to King. Three games to love. 11 3, 11 3, 11 7. Well, just underneath the 30 minute mark for this last 16 encounter. Very, very comfortable there for King. Three love into first lady into the quarterfinals. They've been Tina Gillis of Belgium taking on Joshna Chanapa of India. Hand out, huge error. Ten nine, game ball. ball. Really loose ball. From Tight work down this backhand wall. Again, it's a every time there's straight work, the opening opens up for Gillis, and she finds herself up in front on the volley. And it's nicely put away. Hand out, ten all. Shortening of the swing, choking the racket head to straighten. It's a must on these glass courts. You've got to be so ready to improvise. Oh, it's conceded. It's Thank well conceded you. by a chin up. At. You have to say it was a strong finish from Gillis.
moving the ball well in the court now, Gillis. She's sending Chinapa into the corners. And out. Eight, three. There's a glimpse of what Chinapa is capable out. of when she's given Four, eight. the position up in front of her opponent. What's so dangerous, Chinapa, as well. She gets on a roll, battles off court points really quickly. A couple of wrong options there from Chinapa, and she's in trouble. Down. Well, she was lucky to get away with 11 that. 11 8 game to Gillis. Literally Gillis leads up. two games to love. Oh, it's what a shot. Yeah, it's a great shot. Seven twos. This is a really confidence boosting performance here for walloping that one in the tin. Chinapa is back at seven all. Down. Oh, that's a very good get from her. She's going to turn this on again. She's going to Hand close out. this out in three. Still eight, a seven. Decent way to go. And out. So straight on the racket. Video ref decision on Gillis appeal. I mean, the only thing that could save Chinapa is here is the initial step from Gillis. If you watch, it just goes off, and then it's no, that left I arm. Think, I think that's sort of slightly overcomplicating it. I honestly think that's just a stroke. It's such a loose ball. I mean, it is there. a loose shot. It's a stroke. I mean, it's a simple stroke. 11-8, match to Gillis, three games to love. Tina, congratulations. Well done. Safely through to your first ever British quarterfinal. How does that feel? Amazing. Uh, I'm speechless. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. Uh, it's, I'm just so happy to be here, to be playing. Uh, it's been a few hard couple of weeks, but I managed to focus on my squash, and I'm just, I don't know, I, I don't know what to say. I'm just, I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm so happy. And there is confirmation of the matches. Two love in favor of Mohammed. Both of those took place on Egyptian soil at the Egyptian Open, and both were actually 36 Time. minutes, even though one was three love. So. Yeah, because it was a second bounce there. Only three points here. I mean, both po both of these players can rattle off points so quickly. And out five seven. Oh, that's brilliant. Using all of her reach across the court. 10 6, game ball. Fast hands to adapt. Four game balls for Perry. Down. When there's another error 11, from Mohammed. Game to Perry. Perry leads one game to love. It's good to see us ever evolving. It's not something that we're necessarily going to be able to have everywhere, but when we can, we will definitely be using it. Well, here we go. Frida Mohammed looking to fire herself up here.
hand out. 8-6. Well, Mohamed annoyed with um, oh, good. the fact that she felt she had to play through interference there. Gets the opponent committing up and then throws it over their head. Four game balls yeah. for Perry. Only needs one of them. Another error from Mohamed on the backhand. Perry. Perry leads two games to love. Got that one, but that angle from Perry, the hold and then the angle is causing so many problems for Mohammed. Just not reading it. No, she's looking to get Mohammed moving, oh. isn't she? It's a but confident well, shot. Well, it's as soon as the ball sits up. Two. She as soon as she can set herself on a ball. Completely stopped Mohammed in her tracks. It's been so effective in this match. As you said, and Mohammed unable to get really nicely set and balanced on the ball, which takes away all those weapons. Lovely shot. 9-7. Again, you see a two match balls for Perry. Stroked Perry. 11-8, match to Perry, three games. 11-6, 11-6, 11 That's uh, an impressive performance from Sarah Jane Perry against very dangerous Farida Mohamed. The number two seed from Egypt, Hania El Hamami, takes on England's number one, sorry, England number two, possibly soon to be England number one, Georgina Kennedy. Lost the rally there, but for me, Hamami put some serious work into the and legs of Kennedy. Six five. There's the hold, just as you were saying there, threatening with the front ten, nine, right hand corner. Keyboard. Length from Hamami's trouble for Kennedy, and that's a beautiful touch. And there you see yeah, how important that first game Hamami, was for Hamami. One game to love. Gina may not be the most naturally gifted and talented of players, but in all the years that they've worked together, there's never been one bad session where there's never been full commitment from Kennedy. And it, she'll be one of those players that eats every ounce of ability out of her talent, and that's huge proof of it right huge. here. Huge. It's, yeah. it's, it's a super strength. Correct. 5-1. 21 years of age, it's it's impressive. The options, you know, her artillery are pretty extensive. It's better. Oh, again. 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 Left box. Out. 11 6 game to Hamami. Hamami leads two games to love. Oh, not far off. Missed opportunity in that rally there for Kennedy. Less, hasn't it? Been Look any weak control. spells really, any lulls in the match? Mamma's actually finding it quite hard to get in front of Kennedy now. It's the English lady that's dominating the middle of the court. Well, she's actually starting to take the ball in short a little bit more in this game. Like this slight shift in tactics. Oh, lovely. 
claw this third game back. Still a two love lead at the moment for Hamami though. Done. And 11 5, game to Kennedy. Looking for a new ball. She's not happy Hamami with the dead court. Two games Hamami. to one. 5 3 in the fourth. Oh, she's whiffed it. Oh. And that's fortunate. Oh. And out. 4 5. That is painful. Ten seven, and much four. Just enough there from oh, we stayed in. Oh, lovely. What a finish. Seven, much to her mommy. Three games to one. She's been going with the cross court. Nine, the whole 11, six, the cross. five, eleven. Eleven, Four seven. Four inside that time. Went straight on two occasions, back to back. Fantastic game of squash between these two ladies. Just under 50 minutes.